things like that. But it's really good to have good ideas, like that one. The guy shoots, I just go around the, the side of him, rather than going straight back. So that's a good idea, all right? So here's another good idea. So this is one of the things that hopefully ever, all my guys do. When we practice, when we drill, when we learn new techniques, when we live wrestle and practice, when we do live plays and practice, when we uh, compete, this is, uh, well, I'll show you what usually most people do, then I'll show you what we do to counter uh, attack that, or, or do something like a little bit different. So, where's my good partner? So, uh, here we are on the thing. Get your foot on the line, okay? Ready? We go. All right? So, common thing, right? So, what I just did right there was about two or three bad habits um, I would look at as mistakes, all right? That are very easily correctable and if you make those very, it will automatically, guaranteed, it's going to translate into some better outcomes for you. And it's easy to do. So, first thing, uh, especially when you get tired is, uh, here, tweet. Guys do this, all right? They reach and grab. If I'm practicing, if I'm just learning technique, all right, you're just like practicing, you're probably doing something like this, right? So here's the weird thing. The thing that we do the most, even if it's not good, is what we most likely are gonna do under pressure. So if I'm used to doing this, to learn techniques and to drill and practice, though I might not wanna do it in a match, I will do it in a match. So this is the rule for my guys uh, when they drill, learn techniques, live wrestle, whatever, all right? I'm just, I'm just doing a technique that right now. First thing is what I'm going to do. All right? Anytime I'm going to make contact with him, I put a hand on the mat first. I always put a hand on the mat. Every single time. All right? It does two really good things for me. Number one, have you ever seen this? The guy on the whistle blows across and gets your foot. Probably had it done to you, all right? It's actually not a, it's a pretty good strategy. I mean, you can't use it all the time, but it's a really good stra strategy that I never really even thought of. But um, it, actually, Zeke Jones, it, he used to be the U.S. freestyle coach that I used to coach at ASU. He, was, he taught that in a clinic. I was just at just last year, all right? He showed how they do that, like on the whistle, you're going, all right? So you guys are wrestling, the ASU guy, be ready for that shot off the whistle, because they do that as part of their main stuff. If I'm doing what I normally do, reaching and going, and on the whistle, he's shooting for a low single, that's a bad combination for me. Because what I've done is this. Look at my, that's a position he wants me to be in because I'm reaching and grabbing. So, number one, this is gonna stop, this is gonna prevent this 100%. Now I make my contact. I put my hand to the mat and that's gonna stop 99.9% .9 of his shots when I'm not ready. Number two, it automatically puts me in good position. All right? Most of the time, or a lot of the times, we're not in great position. I'm wrestling like this. Anytime I reach, I'm not in good position. Okay, that's all open there. By going here, I automatically put myself in really, really good position. I would highly suggest that becomes part of what you do. Every time you drill, every time you learn a new technique, whatever, every single time, 
You just do this first. You reach down and touch the mat before you make contact. Okay? Highly recommend. It's, it, I guarantee it's going to prevent five takedowns that you give up a year. Guarantee, maybe more. All right? All right, so that's suggestion number one. Suggestion number two. We do this all the time. All right? Or we do this. Okay? So, the bad thing about that is you should never reach with two hands at one time. Never here. And you just watch. So, maybe people in other groups, you just watch to see how many times you see this. It's ridiculous. All right? So, this is going to help prevent it. But I can still do this and then do this, which isn't good. I'm going to reach with one hand. Now, which hand am I going to reach with? My, what's my primary attack hand or my non-attack hand? I would reach with the non-attack hand. And here's why. If I reach with this one, probably it's the same leg that I'm going to go forward with. 